All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, let's give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha, Kodash. Double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel, who rule well and teach well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing his truth and sincerity, and also to you women and children. Keep on enduring because his prophecies are coming to pass and salvation is very near. All right, for those of you who don't know, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, meaning he exists or he is to be. Yahweh Shai is the name of his beloved son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay, Yahweh Shai, meaning he saves or he is the deliverer. Racha Kudash, his spirit holy, pronounced in English as holy, as holy Spirit. This is how you say the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit in the Lashawan Kudash, also known as the Holy Tongue. Um, in the Apelio Hebrew, okay, also known as the ancient Hebrew, okay, again, aka the Holy Tongue. Um, I'm your brother Bashar, and you know, when you're making your prayers known to the Heavenly, Heavenly Father, you want to add Bahashim in between Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Bahashim means in the name, and you want to add it in between uh, Yahweh Shai and Rechak. Kodash, which means, which again is spirit, Holy Spirit. Um, this is how you want to make your prayers. This is how you want to make your prayers known to the Heavenly Father, um, because we know that we can't get to the Heavenly Father but through His beloved Son, and we obviously want to be in the Spirit when we're um, setting up our prayers. Okay. <coughs> um, but I wanted to expound upon Jacob's trouble. You know, uh, right now we are in the. Uh, beginnings of sorrows as it is uh mentioned like right, right here in verse 8 Math matthew chapter 24 verse 8 let me read verse 7 first for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places okay so you know we've experienced the the, the nations rising up against nations this is something that's that's uh still going on all right and it's going to continue to go on until the Lord destroys this place brings returns and brings forth um, brings forth the destruction and, and ultimately delivers his elect um, we are experiencing you know kingdom against kingdom uh, famines pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places these are some these are prophecies that we've been we that has that have been coming to pass for pass for quite some time but right now we're entering into the to the uh, 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 to another part of the sorrows, okay. Verse eight: All these are the beginnings of sorrows, okay. Um, and the reason why brothers has been expounding upon Jacob's trouble so much is because we're entering into that time. We're entering into a, a, another part of Jacob's trouble. I mean, another part of the sorrows, okay, which is Jacob's trouble. And um. They're gonna, they've, you know, uh, I I seen an article. Lord will not find it, and I'll put it as a thumbnail. Um, this guy, uh, Fao Chi. Okay, I had to put a pause in between those two. Uh, I had to break his his name down because I don't want this to get this video to get put down. Um, so that guy, he said, uh, those who haven't received the first jump shot um won't be able to come outside in the winter months okay so in other words he's gonna they're planning on uh persecuting the uh those that haven't um who haven't uh you know um complied the first time okay and this is going to lead to uh, you know verse 9 where it says then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake why because the men of the Lord are the ones uh, speaking against these uh, this this devil you know these dra draconian laws and you better believe 
this go around they're, they're gonna implement mandatory the uh MOTB okay which is uh which is also known as the rice device or you call it C hip you know take the the, the the dash in between take the dash out of in between the C and the hip and you get your word you know it's a device that they want to put inside of you and they're gonna try to promote this during that particular time as a you know try to present it as a uh, a solution and you know as you should already know we I mean, you know roll one of us brothers be of that number of uh, the men of the Lord aren't gonna comply Lord willing you know and uh, we're actually gonna um, reject that that device again Lord willing you know and we've been pushing for quite some time that you should reject it you know and this uh, device that I'm talking about is prophesied in the book of Revelation 13 chapter which I'll pull up the uh bear with me a second Revelation 13 I'm going to fast forward down to 16 and it reads and he causes all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their or in their foreheads okay so does it necessarily have to be in your right hand or your forehead no you know this devil doesn't care these elites they don't care where you put it in your body they just want it inside your body okay so why because their ultimate goal is to monitor you track you and to uh have total control they want because they know once they get you to put that particular device inside of your your body they got you you know and, and you, 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 you you know you 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 you, you, you whether you um, take it out or, or leave it in, you know, you're still going to be destroyed, you know, if you have received it. Um, and this is, this is going to be the great temptation. This is, this is going to be the, the great test that the Heavenly Father is going to bring upon the world through these uh, elites. Okay. And um, let's continue to read on. Verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Okay, so so, so this word mark that you see uh, popping up is we have to go into the Greek to get a more clear understanding on what it is. Um, and this word is a uh, mark in the Greek is karagma, and it means to it insert it means to pierce through your your skin and this is, this is a, a, a one way that we know that this is talking about the sea hit okay or also known as the rice device um and if you want to you know see see hip if you take the dash from in between the c and the hip you get your word okay I'm not gonna say it because you know they've been uh taking videos down for saying that particular word but um, it's a it's a it's a device that they want to put inside of your skin. And they're gonna cause the whole they're gonna try to cause the whole world to do it by making it mandatory, okay? As it is prophesied in verse 16, okay? And they're gonna outcast any anyone who doesn't receive it, you know? And this is gonna lead to um, the 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 ninth the ninth verse in Matthew chapter 24, verse. Uh, verse 9 all right where it talks about the persecution because we know the men of the lord the true men of the lord will not submit to this beast system they will not accept that that mark that see it all right and um lord willing us brothers be of that number uh, let's continue reading and that no man might buy or sell save he that have the mark okay so they're going to plan on outcasting anyone who who um who goes against this uh, this uh, NWO, this New World Order, 
okay? Because again, they're gonna promote this device as if it's, it's a solution. And if you don't receive it, they're gonna try to, they're gonna outcast you. They're not gonna try, they're gonna outcast you, okay? And, and, and you're gonna have to rely uh, uh, completely on the Lord, okay? Because in that time, it's not gonna be no. You're not gonna. It's, it's called Jacob's trouble for a reason, okay? Because you know Jacob is not gonna stand a chance against this, against this, uh, against these elites and and and, and their uh, and their troops that they're gonna flood this this place with, okay? Unless, of course, they have Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by their side, okay? That's the T1. Or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay. And let's get into the judgment. All right, this is Revelation 14. Let's get into the judgment. And this is why you so very so very this is why it's so very important that you will that you do not receive, you don't you don't accept this device. Okay, because not only you know if it you know if you receive it you're going to be destroyed as is prophesied in the, in the, in the 19th verse let's just read it uh, Re revelation chapter 9 chapter 14 verse 9 it reads and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his right hand again anywhere in your body doesn't have necessarily have to be in your forehead or your right hand let's continue on the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the most high now what is this talking about this is talking about the destruction that the lord is going to bring uh, 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 uh immediately after this thing is um implemented mandatory okay is uh deemed mandatory okay we don't know how soon but according to job the 20th chapter the 23rd verse is going to be it's going to be soon after this thing is is, is 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 made mandatory okay this is why you have to endure you have to you know endure that that time of temptation okay let's go um let's continue the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of wrath the wine of the wrath of the most high with his which is poured out without mixture Okay, meaning he's not gonna have it. He's not gonna be no mercy. He's gonna be straight up fire, pain, and it's, it's, it's just gonna be filled with regret. All right, and and and, and you know, this the spirit of Yahweh is gonna be in, in that in that in that in that fire. So you can only imagine. The scriptures uh, mention um, the, the, the heavenly Father as a consuming fire. Okay, so. You know that's some, that's something that you don't want to you don't want to uh, gamble with, you know. Um, I mean, you can only imagine like when when we when we were in the wilderness. When I say we, I'm talking about you Israelites, you so-called African Americans, you so-called Native Americans, you so-called Hispanics, and you and you so-called West Indians, and you so-called Haitians. And you Israelites to be like to the speckled bird. We were in the wilderness, and when we heard the Most High speak, spoke, speak, spoke, you know, we trembled. We say, yeah, you know, Moses, we don't, we rather not deal with the Most High. We would much rather deal with you, you know. And, and they and they and they tremble, and that's just home talking. Imagine, um, the Heavenly Father being in that, in that consuming fire okay it's gonna be a very very to say the least painful experience you know as it is prophesied in second nedris let's get that the ninth chapter okay this is second nedris chapter nine you'll start at verse not uh, start, we're gonna start at verse 9. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. And there's a lot of Israelites out there abusing the ways of the Lord right now. And they that have cast them away despitefully 
shall dwell in torment. Okay? So when you're dwelling in when you dwelling somewhere, man, it's that's not that's not a, you know one, two, three, four, five seconds, man. You dwelling it's gonna feel like in a, a long time and an and, and eternity. You know, because of the pain is gonna be so so gruesome, to say the least. Continuing on, verse 10. For such as in their life have received benefits, okay, they've they they've lollygagged, they've abused this world, they've taken advantage of the benefits of this society, and they've walked carelessly. Let's continue. And have not known me. They didn't take the time to to get to know the Lord through his through through his men, through this that that's been set up, you know, in in the in in in, in the streets of Babylon, which is which is America. Continuing on to verse eleven, and they that have loathed my law, right? They didn't consider the law of, the, of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Continuing on, while they had yet liberty, okay, which is the grace period. Continuing on, and when yet place of repentance of was open unto them, understood not, but despised it, right? They despised the Holy Spirit, okay? They've always rejected the Holy Spirit, okay? This is what, well, this is going to be the tab that they're going to have to pay for. The same must know it after death by pain, okay? All right, so, so this is, this is uh, going to be, this is what awaits those that, you know, have they didn't take heed to the Lord and then and, and didn't repent. Continuing on in Revelation, the 14th chapter, uh, verse 7, saying, Oh, it's like it's like it's like me. Verse 9, we're gonna start verse 10. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels okay which is you know the celestial and the terrestrial um and and also you know the one third and in the presence of the lamb which is yahweh shai okay and the smoke of their torment Ascended up forever and forever. Okay, so like I, like I said, it's gonna fully, you know, um, ascended forever and ever. And they, so it's gonna be from generation throughout generation that the smoke is gonna be, you know, ascending. And they have no rest day nor night. Like I said, like I said, all through the spirit, it's gonna feel like they're gonna be, they're gonna be dwelling in, 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 tor in torment. It's gonna feel like forever. All right. Who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receive his mark of his name, okay, which is you know six six six, okay. He wants to put his name on everything, you know, even your personal belongings. You have to have a serial number for everything that you own. You know why? And why is he? And why is? Why are these elites doing this? Why? Because they want to be like the Most High. Okay, let's get that in, in Second Thessalonians. All right, this is the book of Second Thessalonians. It reads at verse. We're gonna start at verse three. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Whom opposeth, who is the son of the position? Esau Edom, okay, which are the so called white men today. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called the Most High, okay? And how is he doing this? How is, how is he going to try to do this? By putting his name, which is, you know, 666, that's, 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 that's the number of his name, on everything, you know? 
He basically want to write his initials on everything that, uh, that, 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 that belongs to the Most High. Okay, let's continue on. Or that is worship so that he as, as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Okay, so this is what, this is what he is trying to do. You know, he, he wants to, he wants to, uh, um, be like the most high, you know, and he wants to uh, rule the world by the way of his sorcery, this, this, this artificial intelligence. Okay. But, you know, pursuant to, uh, Job again, the second chapter, it's like in the 20th chapter, the 23rd verse, the Lord's going to, he's going to upset him. Let's, you know, let's continue reading. This is Job chapter 20. We're going to fast forward to verse 23. It reads, He, when he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath. You know, notice that it says, it's saying God. It's talking about the Most High. The Most High is going to cast the, you know, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to attack. You know, it says when he is about to fill his belly, the most high shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him. OK. And shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Okay, the <laughs> Heavenly Father is not playing, man. You know, he, he's going to be he's going to devour this place, man. And, you know, as you know, as the scripture says, he, he's a he's a consuming fire. He's a, he's a consuming fire. And, you know, the, but the point was. He is, this devil is not going to, is not going to enjoy, be able to enjoy what he for so long wanted to accomplish. Okay. He shall flee from the iron weapon. Okay. What is the iron weapon? The ICBM nuclear missiles and the bow of steel shall strike him through. It is drawn and cometh out of the body. Yeah, the glittering sword, the missiles, cometh out of his gall. Terrors are upon him. Okay? So, so you know, the Lord is going to, and brothers always use this analogy, the Lord is going to smack down the, it's going to, you know, brothers always use this analogy. I'm kind of talking too fast. Let me slow down. But the Lord is going to, basically cause the snow cone the the, the 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 ice cream to fall off the snow cone right when he's about to enjoy it you know and and and, and you know that's just a quick example you know for lack of a better words to uh identify what the lord is going to do once this uh thing is implemented mandatory and I say that to to give you brothers and, and sisters encouragement and you children to to endure, you know, because, you know, this thing is about to go down. They're already talking about locking down the cities um, and bringing back the diaper mask. And it's it's going to, you know, we're right at the door. So just continue to endure. And, um, you know, just right now, we're, we're going through a lot right now, but the Lord is going to lift up a standard and, um, we're going to be all right. Just keep on enduring, keep on, um, you know, praying, fasting, being brotherly, being, uh, being sisterly, um, and just continue to walk in the, in, in the, in the spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. Lord willing, you brothers and sisters was edified. I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Racha, Kodash, double honors to our apostles of great millstone, peace and salutations to the whole four elect. Shalom.